So before we go any further, I need to introduce you to centre of mass and to make sure you understand what that means. So I'm going to use uh, this ruler to represent this first idea, um, centre of mass. And um, I mean, this could represent a uniform rod. And um, it does it pretty well, actually, because I mean, it, it maintains the same, relatively the same thickness throughout its shape. Um, and so its mass is, would be distributed evenly. Okay, so that's what we would mean by a uniform rod. Obviously, this isn't a perfect uniform rod. Okay, um, there are bits gouged out of it and everything. Um, but, uh, you know, as, as it stands, it's pretty good. It's pretty close to what we need. Okay, so the center of mass is for a uniform rod will be its midpoint. Okay, that is the point at which the weight acts through. So, with a uniform rod like this, with a, with a ruler, what you can do is if you hold your hands kind of flat like that, okay, and you try and keep uh, the ruler flat, then if you just try and push your hands in towards the center, okay, you can see that one stopped. I'm so, you know, I, I didn't stop it, okay. Now this left hand one's moving, well, my left hand, okay, and that stopped. I didn't do anything to stop it. Okay, oh, it's moving a little bit further now. Now that one's moving. Okay, and what you can see is that it is balancing itself out. You know, I'm not, I'm moving, I'm just moving my hands, pu pushing my hands together. Okay, and they decided when they should start and stop. Okay, and what you should find is that you find yourself in the middle. Okay, so that is your center of mass, and that's one way of kind of looking at this. So, for a uniform rod, if it is, well, for a rod, if it is uniform, then its centre of mass will work straight down through the middle, okay? So if you know that a rod is three metres long, and you know that it has a weight of five newtons, then its weight will work one and a half metres distant from either of the ends, okay? That is a key part of this, okay? So if you know that you're working with a uniform rod, then you can uh, put that into the problem, into your force diagram. If it is non-uniform, okay, which uh, a few problems that we meet will, will be that, okay? That means you don't know where the center of mass is, in which case, in all likelihood, the problem is going to investigate or, or, or ask you to investigate and find out where that centre of mass actually is, how far away it is from one of the endpoints. Okay. So then, if we're dealing with a lamina, okay, if we're dealing with a lamina, then in the cases that we'll consider, we'd be looking at a rectangular lamina. And for a rectangular lamina, the centre of mass will always work through the centre of the rectangle, okay, which is the intersection of the two diagonals, okay. So the centre of mass of a rectangular lamina, a uniform rectangular lamina, will be at its centre, okay. Um, more complicated problems. Um, would deal with uh, looking at triangles or combinations of rectangles and triangles, and then trying to find the centre of mass of a composite shape. We won't have to deal with that, okay? Um, but that's kind of where those types of problems can go, okay, and become more complicated. So for us, we'll be considering looking at the centre of mass uh, of a lamina, of a rectangular lamina through its centre. Okay, so we're going to come watch a couple of videos, go through a couple of videos on this, uh, just to show you how this works and what types of problems you could meet.